Good morning and sliding into afternoon. I'm just gonna ooh, I'm just gonna adjust this just a little bit there. That's a class thing we were working on. All right, Judy Allen here, San Antonio. It's good to be home. It's always nice to visit family, but it's good to be home. So today we're gonna pretty much keep it in between simple and stepping it up. I want to show you how to create a card for assisted living class. You know. I do assisted living classes and I know some other friends go visit the relatives and they bring things to create a uh, some cards and so forth and all. So I'm going to show you some different tips and tricks on how to do it and what's important, right? Because whether we've had family members, friends, or whatever, assisted living places, they always enjoy creating. They always enjoy seeing you and it's about how can we create something to make it easy for you and easy for them all right so let's go down the hands it's a little bit different today but i just want to show you right because it's all about making a difference in someone else's life right and making memories i have 500 photos plus of my father of memories we created and that's awesome so let's go down the hands and let's do it right in addition to that we're also setting an example for our children and future generations of what we expect so what I've done is, uh, this is actually a card I've actually done in assisted living before. And they didn't, they were confused with it, right? Because they're used to just coloring on a piece of paper. They didn't know what they were supposed to do with all this. So I didn't do that again, and I'm not doing that again this year. I'm going to also show you a couple of other things that I've done. And then basically, you know, I do the designs for them, and they do the coloring, and then we stamp together okay so i just want to show you all right because i'll give you an idea of where we're going and what's happening if you're out there yes please say hello i know i missed you guys last week and today i act like a total stranger going online so when i go to start out to create for something for the people in the assisted living uh, facilities classes that i do i sit there and i go and took and take a look at what i've already created right that's sort of where i start with it and then from there, I build from there. So, if you look at what I've got right here, these are some things I've already created, right? So, it just sort of gives me an idea of what I want to do. Because I have one hour, we make two cards, right? One hour, two cards, ten people. And so, I have to help them stamp, and I have to help them do things. So, what I usually try to do is I really work on something that you can color. So these are some things I was already toying around with. So I go and make prototypes. And the reason why I do that, I just take a regular card where we take it. This is just your, uh, let's see here. I can't even think today because I was out on vacation, right? Eight and a half by, uh, by five and a half card. And I just cut it in half. Because one thing about going to doing for assisted living, they like to see what you created right they want to copy it so it's no different than people and you do a regular class they want to do the same thing you did okay so with this one i actually i actually stamped it out to see what i was going to like and i set this up on the stamparatus so i'd actually had done this first one of these first like this one here i didn't stamp it and i got what i wanted so what i did then is i went to the stamparatus okay so the first time we went on the stamparatus I actually had my butterfly in the wrong place so let me show you what I do I create something on here and I, I, like I said I take a look at what I've already created so I'm showing you some stuff you can do with this stamparatus so right this is this is all got to be colored so my folks at the system living I have one that says they're in create they color with markers and pencils and then I have another one that creates just uh, with pencils so what I did here is I took my Stamparatus and this is something where you can sit up there and I can sit there and take stamps and this is what I did. I just put my stamps, I created a prototype and sort of spaced everything out from the other stuff I've already created. Yeah. And same thing with the Easter Bunny, get them off here so you can see. I just positioned them where I wanted them, okay. Same thing with the Easter eggs. I positioned them where I wanted them. Now, in this particular case, right, I was going to do the eggs over here. Because if you look at the previous cards here, I had lots of eggs. That's too many eggs for them, right? I know when you do it, it's like, you know, for the average 
bear just as it just regularly this is a lot of eggs right so i know not do that i know i've got one hour i got two cards one's gonna be a faith-based card and the other one is gonna be the easter bunny they already told me what they wanted so you know what i asked them what they want right so as you can see here this is going to be off so when i set this up and i got my carrot on here already so when i set this up it's going to be off right so what i do is i just take a post-it note right because i'm creating this for 10 people so i'm not going to hand stamp it all some of it i'll hand stamp and some i won't so the, what i can do on my stamp apparatus i'll do so i will just put this right here so when i ink this up and stamp it down it's going to be off the paper right and that way i can have it done now the first time i did the east the butterfly i had butted it up right in next to the nose here when it stamped out it was too far away okay so that's one thing you got to know is sometimes when you use the stamp apparatus you can't just line stamped up but what i did do is i wanted that i wanted that butterfly on the nose so then all i did is i took my stamp knowing i couldn't get the two stamps between the rabbit and my butterfly together so i just lined it up where i thought i wanted it to land and then i come over here and pick it up so yes yeah, so now when i use my stamp apparatus i'm going to come down like this and then i'll come over like this and that way when i do 10 cards i just can keep on feeding them through okay so that's one thing i did the grass i did stamp individually and i did the, th the third egg individually as well so how do i do that well all i did is i left this here it wasn't going to hurt leaving this here right so i'm just going to leave this right here and then what i do to make that happen is again i set up there and i stamp the bunny here and i did it on a post-it note and that way i could put the bunny right here it was right we've done masking before so here we are creating a card and we're doing masking and then all i did is took my grass right here and i stamped over it that way it looks like my rabbit is sitting in the grass but it's really not right so i did that right there the next thing i did after this so then after i did the same thing here right i created one for the eggs right here on the side same thing this one i'd actually stamped it on another one but you gotta trim it out right if i want my grass to go around i have to go around the images here so i wanted my grass to go up in here as well so that's why you have to cut around the tail right and i cut around the eggs and the feet over here because i want grass to go all the way around and then all we're doing is taking our stamp and stamping our way across okay now when you get to the egg over here I did the same thing I just moved this over here I shifted I just folded this back a little bit and I stamped my grass around it okay so that one is a little bit more uh, different because I would each time I put a card down I could have done this on the stamp apparatus but I would have still had to move the grass right and since I in my classes I limited them to 10 because once you get to 10 even at 10 I've had at 12 you actually almost have to have somebody to help you right because everybody's wanting your help and guidance and so forth and so on so from here since i've already got it creating this is my example i create one example and i we're going to color it and i'm going to show you because this way when i color it it allows me to know how long it's going to take me and then i know that it's going to take them longer right so we're going to color this and then what i do is i always allow them to sit there and choose so since i have to i usually use one location there's three different tables so i will have three of these available for each one for each table the other place is on long tables and i still have the three to four copies and i just take and put a front and back one on front and back so both sides of the table can see it because if you've worked with assisted living is you know that they like their own thing they like their space and they don't necessarily always want to share so we have to you know sort of get tea up for that right so i tee up for that or uh i used to do just one and everybody wanted to see it and i was constantly moving around everybody so i spent a lot of time moving around so what we're going to do now is we're just going to color and this is to see how much time will it take 
to make this happen, right? So they're going to look at me and look for colors and so forth and all. So I've gone ahead and found some colors and pencils. Like I said, some will use pencils. Uh, the folks I have the class today with, they use pencils. So I, I use a combination. What I've already gone and done in advance, so I sort of did my color selection just so I know what choices I have, especially the green grass. So this one here, these are pencils, and I went and pulled them out. Uh, I actually, the garden green one is the one I like the best, so I'm going to go ahead and color with this. Now for them, they have regular color pencils. I don't. But what I teach them to do is how they can get different colors like I do by shading with their pencils. So they like to use colors. You know, it's just, it's just like you take a class. I design a class. So I've got the example that they can follow and they can do their own thing, right? Same thing. It's no different than you and I. It's about taking a class, going out, having fun, creating, sharing, and giving. And that's what they do. They create an assisted living. They create cards so they can send to loved ones family members, grandchildren, or whatever. I have one guy, he sends all his just grandchildren with a little extra something added. So, there you go. So, I'm just going to color this grass. I could have started with the eggs first, but I at least want to get my grass going to see how I'm going to look here. Because I can easily, even though I didn't stamp in some places, I can take my blender pen, and since we're using watercolor pencils, this blender pen will sit there and allow me just to Go and do what I want to do. I'm just going to see how that looks. And I can actually move it around a little bit too, right? Okay. So actually too, I, I always leave. So when I make the extras, I always will, when I get through this, I will photocopy this. And I will actually photocopy three copies. So I usually leave one behind. So those people that weren't filling up to it today, because that happens, right? That they can come back later and they can sit there and make the cards that they want to. Sometimes I have people, like yesterday, person didn't want to do St. Patrick's Day. They didn't believe in St. Patrick's Day. Whatever. That's okay. They watched, because they normally do, but they didn't want to yesterday. So you just let it go, right? You let it go. It's all about just inspiring the creative, using the creative side of the brain. Using our brain as much as we can. And I'm going to go down here and do my leaves while I'm at it. On for my... So yeah, I'm using, like I said, a combination of watercolor pencils. And then I'm going to switch over to blender pens. Because I have people that, like I said, that like to use the markers of the blending pens. Now the only difference is, right, is if I use... If I use the, the pens, I can't alter the colors like I can with a pencil, right? So those are just some things you're going to have to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and carry my color my carrot, get my carrot done. So these actually have just a fine tip or a little bit larger. So I, when I'm doing a bigger area, I just go ahead and use this. Yeah, I think I threw people off because it wasn't live last week, but that's okay. I am live today. So, the other thing that I do as well is I let them choose. So, we're going to stamp Happy Easter on here. And I let them choose what color they want to do it in. So, we'll do that at the end and I'll show that to you. Let me see how this was again. Uh, I'll show you how I do that again. Yeah, okay, it's just like... I let them pick colors, right? And then the thing is, is like this has Easter eggs on it. Well, I can tell you some people are going to want to stamp Easter eggs on the inside of their card. Uh, some of them are going to want to stamp butterflies on the envelope. Or they might want to do Easter eggs on the envelope. They might even want to do the Easter rabbit on the envelope. It just varies, right? Because everybody's just a little different on what they like to do. And so that's, you know, I just always keep that in mind. Use, uh, I want the blue. I like the blue. So those are just things, tips to keep in mind, right? And it's just easy. You know, everybody's always excited to see somebody different. If you don't visit on a regular basis, it's fine. Uh, I actually do not know. I should say, I shouldn't say that. I do know the people I see. What I was gonna really should say is, all right, it's not a family member and it's not a friend. I knew... Before I, I started doing it, right? It was people I've met. 
as I've gone and done this. And I do it bi-weekly at different places. So it's just, you know, it's just a, for me, it's just a way to give back, right? I enjoy giving back. I enjoy creating with them. Uh, you know, I had a father. You know, they enjoy doing different things. So, you know, they, they're no different than you and I. Okay? They like to do things. They like to see people and do different things. So I'm just going to cake. I'm going to color my eggs, right? So th this is what they'll do too. And I assure you, if I ever do something that they don't want to do, they'll let me know that as well too. So you don't have to worry about that. I have found working with people in assisted living, our elders, and maybe they're not our elders, they, they don't mind sharing their opinion usually. Uh, at Halloween time, I had one that says, told me they didn't like the Halloween cards. They weren't doing Halloween cards. And that was that. And I said, okay. You know, that's what he's going to do, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, if you're out there, say hello. We do door tries, drawings. I don't know about you guys, but it's hot here. 85, 86 degrees today. We really haven't per had, per se, a winter. And it doesn't look like we're going to have one with Easter and the spring just around the corner. Right? Spring. I forget what the actual day. I want to say it's like March 20th. So, if you didn't know when spring was, it is coming. It is coming officially. And I didn't realize daylight savings time. I thought we'd done away with that. As informed yesterday, that was not the case. So, there you go. So I'm just going to finish this. I'm going to do these to Bunny, and then we're going to stamp this, and we'll be done. But I just wanted to show you today. This is limited to just the people in a nursing, in assisted living. I shouldn't say nursing home because it's called an assisted living. The ones I do, no. You know, this can be done. Anybody can do this. You can do this. It's not just for them, but. So when you create for people in the nursing camp, you got to think about what they can do, right? So they can color because I have done this before and they have they can color this. So I, I do alter my classes based on what I know people can do. If I, if I think it's too difficult, it takes too much time, then I just alter it the next time, right? They're just glad to see me come and they always want to know when I'm going to come back. So, those are the things that you will get asked. Because they like it. Okay, now I'm just going to turn my bunny a little bit. Because actually, when I did my bunny before, I just sort of did the edge, just sort of wiggled it around like that. And I left the, the, the stomach part white. Now, we'll see today what people do. So, right? So, it's no different than if you come to my class and you guys join me and everything. I show you. And you do what you want to do, right? Now I'm going to leave the tail white. I always think of Easter time with a cotton tail bunny. And I'll cover it. So I don't know if I'll leave it back, most probably. I have seen rabbits, big fat rabbits. I don't know farm, man. And they are pretty incredible. But Easter time's just a fun time, right? So I really like it that they like to do one like this, and they like to do a faith-based one. So I'll make we'll do another one that's got a cross on it, and I'll put some different floral stuff there, and we'll put a cross on it. Actually, the cross will be a cross that we'll do, and we'll actually assemble and just stick on there. Okay, so I've got the they've got the Easter rabbit done. I've got everything colored I want to color. So the only thing left I have to do is I just had to pick a color to stamp, right? So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this blue one here. And like I said, I let them choose what they want, right? Oh, I still have to do the butterfly. I did not do the butterfly. So this really is a card anybody can do, right? I just be happy to do this. And I wanted to show you this because, you know... We got to remember to take care and go visit the people. It's just living nursing homes and places like that. You know, they were there for us when we were younger. And, you know, they need us just as much as we do them. So I have that. So all I have left is my butterfly. So let me go ahead and put some colors on my butterfly. And then I'm really done. 
So then from here, what I'll do is I will sit up here and I will go and copy this on a photocopier. And I'll make, I'll photocopy at least three because like I said, I leave one behind for them. So for those that don't feel up today or feeling with spiffy or whatever reason, one time somebody was physical therapy and they didn't get to make it. So I leave it behind so they can sit there and color it when they get done or when they're feeling up to it. So and then I'll just cover my butterfly. So you'll find yourself having to help out some people and so forth. That's okay, right? All right, so there we go. We got a nice, easy card for them to be able to color. And it'll occupy their time, right? Because we get older, we don't miss, move, move as fast as we do when you're younger. So those are just things we have to keep in mind, right? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And the thing is, is go out there and create, share, and give. So it's always not just sharing the card and getting the card. But it's also sharing... We're creating and making something for others so they can go and create and give and share. Because you know what? They love to give and share just as much as you and I. So keep that in mind and think about creating cards in a class for people in assisted living homes. All right? So with you that, be blessed. Go out there, create, share, and give. If you enjoyed it today, please be sure to like and follow us now here on Facebook and YouTube and share with others as well. All right, be blessed and look forward to seeing you next week on Keep It Simple or Step It Up. Bye.